Hello, Virgo. This is your reading for the end of October bonus type energy. Five card spread using Toth, okay? I also clarified with a smaller deck of that same, um, you know, energy. I'm looking for positive energies, hopefully new energies coming in for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. The main energy that's coming in for all of Virgos, that's what I'm looking for. If, it may not resonate with everyone, but I'm going, that's basically what I'm asking for. The main energy is coming in for most Virgos. And I always look for a positive reading. When we don't get one, we work through it. It's telling us what we need to know, what we need to do to get, you know, get through it, you know. I will be given. That may be important. Ah, a lot of competition out there. I had to look. Something's not completed yet. You're still dealing with something that you need to work on. Get working on it. Because what happens when you keep on working on it, finally finishes a completion, it'll bring a happy home. Okay? And I'll be giving you a uh, pick a card love reading at the end, but sometimes this has to do with love also. Other times it has to do with money and finances and family and all that other stuff. There it is again. The five, the strife card, the competition card. That's what was trying to come out earlier and I looked at it. So, past, a lot of competition, maybe some strife, arguments in life. We'll find out what that's about. You know, I clarify, give us more information when I clarify or making, you know, make it real interesting. Obstacle, trying to come out of worry. You need to come out of worry. Um, also not having enough, okay? Um, that's what you're supposed to overcome. And you can overcome it. It's telling you what to do, okay? Um, your ships will come in. This is a current environment or what will come in, okay, soon. Um, three of Wands, your ships will come in and you will see negative things leave that need to leave. What's coming towards you? More balance, Virgo. More balance in your life and calmness. In the end, the Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you'll receive a message of the emotional nature that is kind of, you know, um, soothing for you. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Just doesn't tell us much. Just tells me ships are coming in so far. So let's clarify. Also tells me you're getting a message and things are becoming more balanced. You did have a little bit of strife in your life and that tried to come out twice. Okay. I did look, did a little peek at that and yeah, a lot of competition. Maybe there's a little bit of work, you know, and everybody's wanting the same thing. That could be it too. But also, you know, arguments and trying to go, not necessarily arguments sometimes, they're really just going for what you need to go for, and it caused you a lot of energy, you know. Anyway, five of wands in the upright in the past position for Virgo. Two cards, please. Could be dealing with a knight of wands energy. It's in reverse. You are... Whatever you're working towards, it will work out. It'll eventually pan out, even though you had to fight for everything. And maybe you were dealing with short-tempered people on the outside because the whole world was kind of short-tempered lately. But also things that were uneven um, when it comes to your passions with the Knight of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with, you know, a fire sign. But I feel like um, you were battling for what you want in life, your abundance, okay? That's what the past energy has shown me. Um, what you're supposed to overcome is the five of pentacles in reverse. It's worry, you know, come out of worry, um, come out of not having enough, ask people for help when you need help. Okay. So the five of pentacles in reverse for Virgo is the obstacle position. Two cards. The hangman being stuck and waiting for messages, also it could be, again, a fire sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it says that you need to come out of worry, come out of feeling stuck. And I feel like the way I'm feeling, get your passions back and start sending messages. Start going out there and pushing yourself out there, which I've been telling a few people lately of the zodiac signs. But no longer hang around. The obstacle is maybe you're hanging around just waiting for things to happen. Now it's time to move forward. Your ships are about to come in, okay? And your negative things are leaving with the three of wands. 
So I need two cards for the virtue. I call it the virtue. I need three cards for that, please. For Virgo. So you're going to be down with the air sign or get messages that are straight. And there's that worry card. So your worries are going to lead. You're going to come out of that with the five of pentacles in reverse. It's sometimes when you see this, any card in reverse, it could be delays, avoiding, or totally putting it from you. You know, some people think it's being stuck in it. But when I see it with a positive card like it, actually two of them, you know, for Virgo, I do see these negative things, you know, that have to do with finances and worry leaving you and you being straight to the point, getting messages straight to the point, sending messages, sending this BS away, okay? Coming towards you, balance, temperance, calmness for Virgo. Two cards, please. What's it, why is it coming towards them? What is included? What is involved with this, the art card? Coming out of hermit mood. In partnership. So things will be, you'll be coming out of hermit mood, becoming more balanced when it comes to where you were going within. And it has to, something to do with partnerships or lovers, becoming more balanced from an unbalanced partnership. Okay. You will be getting a message of comfort, maybe, of the emotional nature. Some of you can be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I do see this as a positive card. So if it is a water sign, it would be a younger one. So Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe 20s to 30, 35 the most. Um, I need two cards for the Princess of Cups. This person, this person coming towards you, okay? If it is a person, okay, they're coming towards you. They have heartbreak. They, their heart is heavy, and they're trying to move on from heartbreak, and you're going to be dealing with them in some way. You will, For some of you that are trying to overcome heartbreak yourself, you will be getting messages of comfort that has to do with sorrow that will allow you to move on with the Six of Swords. And you're going to start a new emotional beginning. A beautiful one. Ace of Cups. I love this card. Life is going to be okay. Okay? I've been telling people this for a while. Yes, I saw them in the cards. We saw it where things were kind of a little bit rough with everybody. We saw where we were fighting and trying to um, do what we need to do to get along in life. But your ships are coming in. You're working towards that. You're pushing towards that. You are... Um, getting motivated to do this again, okay? It's your obstacle. You need to come out of the worry. You need to go for it. Come out of hermit mode and move passionately forward again. Ships are coming in. Negative things are leaving. Worry is leaving. And Virgo, Prince of Swords, you may get a message of um, the straight to the point that tells you what you need to hear or some of you will be dealing with the air sign. You got to put that in there. Um, life is becoming more balanced. Coming out of hermit mode. Coming out of hangman mode over here and um, more balance in partnerships and love okay and like I said you will be getting a message um, that'll help you overcome her heartbreak and able you to move on it also could be that you're dealing with somebody that's coming towards you trying to move on from heartbreak let me give you a love reading mini like pick a card love reading for Virgo sun moon rising the end of October, bonus reading, pick a card, love reading. We need to know about, you know, love, hopefully. Sometimes it tells us more. But I need to pick a card, love reading, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the end of October, bonus reading. At the end, I do try to regroup these for secondary energies, you know, bring them all together. Sometimes they relate. You know, quite a bit. Need three cards from the Moonology cards for Virgo Sun Moon Rising, the end of October, two thousand and twenty. New energies, positive energies when it comes to love. We need to know about love for Virgo. We do. I do see your ships coming in. I do see you getting messages. I do see you moving on from heartbreak. If it's you moving on, you know, if better things are coming. 
Eighth house to row, Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Great deck, by the way. I found it on Etsy. I do a lot of shopping on Etsy, sometimes too much. But I need three cards from the eighth house to row, sun, moon, and rising for Virgo, the end of October. And it continues on. It doesn't end in October. Love doesn't just end when we say this in these cards. I need three cards, like I said, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. If you pick this, you know, these cards over here. Within the next few weeks, hold on to your vision because love is coming in. Love. And you're going to make a final decision towards this love. It may stay a while, okay? In the next few weeks, yeah, hold on to your vision. you got a love situation coming up. If you, picked, if you pick this section, I want you to ask the question, a yes or no question, okay? And keep an open mind with it. Because you got two other cards behind it. So ask yourself the question now. And I will tell you, it's going to be a no answer depending. Okay? There's a no situation. Because you got, for some reason, some of you may be starting a new romantic cycle. Maybe with somebody else. I don't know what your question was. It'll be different for everybody. Because, you know, we're dealing with a lot of Virgos here. But you no whatever you're going, what you're asking, because whatever's going to happen, a new romantic cycle is going to be going to begin, okay? You may be traveling, and you may be receiving messages from somebody of a love cycle that's coming in. You will be receiving messages. You may actually meet, some, some of you may meet a love situation on the road. That's the way I see it, okay? So we'll see what it is. We'll bring them all together. Here it says, wait... Okay, wait on a love situation that it is coming up. I see it in the next few weeks. Okay, if you bring them all together, but we're supposed to wait. Wait, um, there isn't a love cycle coming up. Confidence is the key. Make sure you look confident and feel confident because when someone comes up, they're, they're, the person that's going to come to you likes a confident person. It also could be that someone that comes up to you is a Leo-type energy that's very confident. That's the, you know, it's a little bit of a, you know, a clue to what may happen soon. Wait for this type of Leo energy, okay? They are, again, six of air. You had it here, you have it there. Moving on from a troubling situation with love, and you're moving on to better things. That's what it is, new love. Okay, so in the next few weeks, love is coming in. I'm telling you that right now. Love is going to come in. Hold on to your vision. Make a decision to move forward and go towards this love situation. Some of you were told to know. I have no idea what it is. It'll be different for everybody because I'm dealing with a lot of Virgos here, okay? But I do know a new romantic cycle is coming in. I see the Six of Swords here. Six of Swords there. You're moving from a negative situation into a more positive and balanced one, okay? You may be like talking to this person a lot, a lot of messages. Could be social media too, but you could also meet them you know, like on the road, like in your car traveling. You may go somewhere and run into them. This person will be uh, very energetic, very passionate. Wait for them. It's saying to wait for this person because you are moving on from a troubling situation, from something that did not work out maybe, or distress in life. And now you're going to be meeting somebody. This is tra almost travel too, sometimes by water, hint, hint, you know. But I think, feel this person has a lot of Leo in their chart, you know, their astrology chart, where they're very passionate and confident, and they're very, um, um, I know, attractive uh, personality, you know. So this is your reading, okay? Wait for this person. They're coming in, okay? You're going to, like I said, talk to them, travel, a lot of energy, back and forth energy, I'm feeling. And you will like this person, and you will be moving on from a negative situation into a new love cycle, okay? This is your energy I'm giving you for this, you know, the end of October. I guess I may not relate with everybody, but I'm, uh, this is the majority of the energy that's coming in, okay? This is your reading. I'm going to let this go, and I will upload it soon. Bye.